Good for you. So you don't believe me? Hmm? That I wrote the great American novel, you don't believe me? No, I believe you. It don't sound like you believe me. Why wouldn't I believe you? I don't know why you wouldn't believe me. Are you a racist? I could not believe you and still not be a racist. So you don't believe me? I didn't say that. Are you a racist? No, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, I hope not. I mean, probably not, but you... I hired you, didn't I? Oh, move over, Lincoln. Make room for the penny. Oh, boy. You don't think I can write the great American novel because I'm a black man? No, of course not. Then why didn't you ask me to read it? I... Mm-hmm. Let me read it. Yeah, right. No, I, I wouldn't read it. No, you don't. Please, let me read it. Hell no. Why not? You wouldn't understand it. Is it in English? There's not a lot in there for you, Arthur P. I mean, you know, you run a donut shop. Okay. But don't take it that way. I work in a donut shop. You just don't hear me running around talking about the great American novel. You mean you haven't been going on about writing the great American novel? Oh, don't get me started. You mean you haven't started? I can talk about the book all goddamn day. Come on, hand it over. I won't criticize. I don't care about that. Then hand it over. Why are you hassling me about my book? You brought it up. Because you're hassling me about it. I'm asking to read it. Why, because it's Be Good to Negro Week? You said I didn't want to read it because you're black. And now the only reason you want to read it is because I'm black. I don't care that you're black. Well, you should. Proud black man. Regardless of your skin color, yet in acknowledgement of your inestimable heritage, I'm asking to read your book. Why? Because you're so crazy about Afro-American literature now? That you read the autobiography of Malcolm X, and that makes you know about the experience. The teachers make you read Langston Hughes, and now they make you an expert. Can you even name ten other black poets besides Langston Hughes? Yeah, in fact, I can. Go. Is this a test? This is a test. This is your racist test. I have to take a racist test. You said you were no racist. Do you have to take a racist test? You better reread Malcolm. I can't be a racist. I'm the oppressed. Okay. Five bucks says you can't name ten black poets. Make it a saw book. Oh! Get your money on the table, sucker. Okay, okay. The test is name ten black poets. Ten? Yep. That's not a racist test. It's a poet test. I don't even throw in Langston for you. He's a gimme. Number one. Okay, go. Ten black poets. If you name Nipsey Russell, then the game is over. Langston Hughes. Gimme. Number one. Maya Angelou. All right, you saw her on Oprah. Good for you. Number two. Gwendolyn Brooks. Sure. Chicago Blood. Number three. County Cullen. Oh, I'm impressed. Okay, you might have named four black poets that's on your crossword puzzle. But it gets tougher now. Brother, you are finished. Don't gold me. Give me a second. <sighs> You're in over your head now. Give me a second. Dang, Arthur. Looks like your head's about to explode. Come on. Oh, your brain's all over the floor. Oh, wait. What's his name? Uh, here comes Nipsey. Shh. It's just like watching George Bush on Jeopardy. The names will come to me. Mm. Hmm. You sure you don't want to up this bet, Arthur? Hmm. By a couple million dollars? If I pass the test, you let me read your book? If you can't, then you let me try out my coffee house idea. Dill, where were we? Four. Alice Walker, Nusaki Shangi. Amira Baraka, Lucille Clifton, Nikki Giovanni, and Yusef Kumayaka.